Yeah, happy Earth Day! Like they sing in that Godzilla song, the Japanese singers, you gotta save the Earth, save the Earth, da -da -da -da. save the Earth, save the Earth, save the Earth! You gotta save the Earth, save the Earth, Dun, 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 dun. Save the earth, save the earth, save the earth. Dun, you know, I think Barragon was in that one. Gamera versus Gar Barragon, I think. Or something like that. That's that something rocks. And you know, okay, so it's Earth Day, so I gotta save the earth. You got to save Mother Earth. Like Neil Young sings. We got to save. He's singing about factory farms with Willie Nelson. They have that fat, uh, you know. That nature thing, uh, as far as, you know, the, uh, you know, that's, that, you know the, the concert about factory farms and saving Mother Earth. And so, you know, he's up there singing with Willie Nelson. Willie Nelson's rocking, man. This is that thing they had on WTTW, you know, the PBS channel a couple of years ago. And uh, Neil Young's really rocking. He's got that Indian squad girl dressed like a Cherokee Indian. She's got a nice body. Man, those Cherokee Indians and women are hot, like uh, American Indians. American Indians, you know, the kind out in New Mexico, you know, out there in Albuquerque and, you know, that kind of area. Like, uh, like Dustin Hoffman says in the Big Man, Little Man, he goes, I declare those Indian women are deadly. However, the great spirit was with me and I survived. They called her Digging Bear and I know why. But I do declare them Indian women are deadly. However, the great spirit was with me, and I survived. <laughs> and uh, the girl keeps coughing, uh, you know. And so they all want him to make love to them. And then uh, because his wife wants him to make love to her sisters, right? To make them all happy. So they'll be happy. And then she opens up the tent, you know, the uh, next day. And Dustin's in there sleeping all worn out because he's all worn out. You know, it's hard to get in the merge after one or two times. So, uh, you know, he burned himself out. Probably ain't going to have sex for a week or a month. He had to recover. But anyway, so, <laughs> yeah, well, whatever. It's a, it's a movie. That's funny. That's the fun part about it. But anyway, uh, so, uh, you know, his wife opens up the tent. And she looks and she looks and she says, the others too? And he goes, yeah, the others too. And she smiles, goes, I knew you were a good man. <laughs> There's the area where I filmed World War 2010 right down in there. Hey, down in there where, you know, I did the scenes with Henry the Cornell throwing the log for Henry, Henry the Cornell. By the way, he's like an American Indian. He's part Cherokee, I think, or something. So, yeah. But anyway, down there, in there, you know. Hey, Henry, if you know some hot American Indian women out there, Stockton, California, you know, let me know. Maybe if I'm down there sometime, you can hook me up. I can get a hot date with one of them, yeah. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, some of them, they're really cute, some of them. I'm not saying all, you know, it depends on the girl, you know. But I've seen some that really are attractive. And, uh, you know, you know, girls like are more like from the country. They just like girls out in Texas, like country girls. You know, they're not so uptight like some city women are. You know, I'm not against it. I mean, I'm from the city, so, you know, I date girls from, that are more like city people, because that's where I am. But my late brother Keith said, David, you're a country boy at heart. So, you know, because I, I kind of got that in me. I'm sort of inside. I think it would be fun to be a cowboy. You know, it would be simple. You make a lot, have a good job. You know, you raise cattle, you work the farm. You always have money, always have food. You got all the milk you want from your cows. You got all the eggs you want. You got beef. You got your freezer full of beef. You're going to eat good. You're going to have muscles. And you're not going to pay for a whole bunch for your food. I mean, you, your farm supplies it. And then you make money off the food uh, by selling your beef to the markets and stuff, the stores. So you're making money, but you got all the food you want. You got more than enough. You're living off the land like... Lord, Professor Lord Wellington says from Chicago All-Star Wrestling, I love the land and uh, like Hick Huckabee says, like they said about Huckabee who's running for president, he can live off the land because <laughs> he's a country boy. 
Yeah, thank God I'm a country boy. Well, I got me old fire pipe and I got me old fiddle. When the sun's coming up, I got cakes on the griddle. Life ain't nothing but a funny fudder riddle. Thank God I'm a country boy. Yeehaw! And John Denver rocks. God loves John Denver. He loves a, he loves him. And his music rocks. Like, I really like, Rocky Mountain High, Colorado. Rocky Mountain High, Colorado. I love that tune, man. I gotta listen to that next time I go to the library, man. I haven't heard it in a while. That's a good song. Rocky Mountain High, Colorado. I like that, and I like, thank God, I'm a country boy. Yahoo! Yes, sir! John Denver. There's gotta be a place in heaven for John Denver. If there isn't, I'm gonna be mad because I wanna see him in heaven. God, I know God must love his music. Amen, brother. I'll see you. But Jesus saves. Jesus saves, and you gotta ask Jesus in your heart. Jesus is the way to heaven. But I know God loves John Denver, and Jesus died for his sins, and Jesus died for my sins and your sins. We're all sinners, man. But I'm just saying, God loves us, though. You know, I'm not trying to. I'm trying to bring you hope that Jesus came to save us and Jesus loves you. He loves me, he loves you. And I know he loves John Denver too, so, you know, I'm, I, I, hope to, I hope to hear his songs in heaven when I go there one day. But not for a while, because I'm want. i supposed to live here, I'm supposed to live forever. You know, well, my soul will live forever because I have Jesus in my heart. But, you know, the point is, you know, our soul lives on. And it's not just this flesh body. That's what I'm saying. You know, if all you're doing with your girlfriend is smooching and smooching, swapping worms, you know, like Joe Boyd says, when you're smooching, you're not just kissing, you're swapping worms. <laughs> because, you know, when he looked under a microscope, his doctor took a sample of his saliva on a Q-tip, put it on a, on a slide, looked at it under a microscope, and let Joe Boyd look, and he goes, and he sees these squealy things like snakes and hippopotamus going boingy, 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 you know. Woo, like creatures under there. Giant snakes and stuff. He goes, what, did that come from my saliva? And he says, yeah. He goes, Whoa. So he came to the conclusion when he said from the pulpit, he goes, so you young people, when you're, when you're smooching, you're not just smooching, you're swapping worms. <laughs> and they were like laughing, you know. Guys got his arm around his girlfriend, they're like looking at each other laughing. <laughs> he, he's a funny man, Joe Boyd. See, he brings humor into his messages. He's, he's not a Pharisee, he's a good man. He's from West Virginia. He said, I was once a young man, I know what you boys think about. <laughs> He knows what you think lust over the girls. He knows, because he was a young man once too. He knows what it's like. And you know, he used to listen to the honky. He used to go to honky tonk and drink the beers. He used to do that stuff. He used to swear. And you know. But Jesus saved him, you know. Like I said, Jesus saved sinners, man. We're all sinners. And Jesus loves sinners. He died for us. He died for sinners like me, he died for sinners like you. Yeah, you might have done a lot of bad things, but Jesus still can save you. He, Jesus is expert at saving so He's the only one that can. And he still loves you. He loves your soul. He wants you to accept them and be free of your guilt. He wants you to just give all your burdens to him because he will see. He will comfort you and meet your needs. He will comfort you. He will send the Holy Spirit who will comfort you. That's God's Spirit, the Holy Spirit. When you invite Jesus in, you have the Holy Spirit. When you have Jesus, you have the Holy Spirit, you have God the Father and God the Son all inside of you. God can do anything. Amen, brother.